Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys know anything about me or have been fans of me for a while, you guys will know that I've been on an insane R6 kick recently. In the past month, I've sunk nearly 100 hours into the game, and to be honest, it's some of the most fun I've had with a game in quite some time. Not that long ago, Steam recommended a game to me known as Project F, and for those of you who are unaware, Project F is a tactical FPS game that features 5 on 5 team battles over defensive targets on an auto generated map. All maps are generated for each match and never to be in encountered again. I decided to give it a go because I thought the concept itself was kind of cool and uh yeah you guys will see here shortly. You guys are gonna see some gameplay and after that we will dive into the reviews. Stay till the end so you can figure out how to win a free t-shirt from me personally but before we get into it and if it ain't too much to ask like and sub for more content like this. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so this is Project F. To my understanding, this is pretty much like a Chinese version mobile ripoff of Rainbow Six Siege, but it's on PC. You know, with the hype of Rainbow Six Mobile coming out here soon, I knew that this game was probably gonna show up sometime before that happened, but I didn't know it would be uh, this soon, to be quite honest. This game is currently sitting mostly negative on Steam right now, so, uh, yeah, my expectations are not that high. So today I'm going to show you guys what this game is like by giving you some raw first impressions of the gameplay. I don't know, maybe the Steam reviews are wrong. I can also see this appealing to people who have low-end hardware, don't want to get into R6, and just want to wait for R6 Mobile to come out. Mainly for people who have low-end PCs. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, it looks like we're loading up into a game right now. Uh, oh, okay. I have no clue what any of this says. And no, my language preferences in the settings are set to English. So yeah, I've been waiting about five minutes. Oh, there we go. Excuse me? Oh, is this the map? Oh. Okay. What? Bro, I don't even understand what's going on right now. The defense base has been decided by who? Oh. My God. Okay. Well, they got lean. That's one thing. Sights look pretty, uh... Pretty average, pretty run of the mill. I wonder if I can repel. Can I repel? Oh, climb. Oh, ew. Ew, what? Okay, okay, hold up. Yeah, no, that works fantastic. How are they even in right now? Like, that that's what I don't understand. The fuck is this? Oh my good god. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> oh man. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, now we get to pick? Okay, cool. Uh memorandum room. We'll do that. We'll Well defend memorandum. Oh wait, wait, are we pushing? Are we are we pushing or are we I don't understand, bro. It just, bro, look at that. Okay, so we're defending. COD Mobile is a better experience, I would say. To be honest, like co playing COD Mobile on a PC is a lot better than playing this on a PC. Like I I'm just, I'm just saying. You play COD Mobile on a PC, Redbeard? No comment. Bro, look at that. Yep, yep. This is just a, a fantastic experience, man. Thank God I have my VPN on. Oh, now the map is stuck on my screen. Oh no. Oh no, the map is stuck on my screen. I mean, do I do I really blame them? Do I really blame them for this game being this bad? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, no, I want I I want more of that. I wonder how many people are actually playing this. Okay, so there's about 449 people in the game. Okay. That that makes sense. 450 more than what it needs to be, honestly. This is the most cursed shit I've ever played in my life. Ugh, God, that's just hideous. Look at how bad this looks, bro. This is just some shit that I would see in my nightmares. Oh man, did you guys just see how bad the frame drops were? Okay. Yep. It's a 1v1, bro. You better clutch this. No way, homie just drop shot it around that corner. There, okay. All right. Well, I know the caliber of people who are playing this now. Waiting for other players. So that guy rage quit. He rage quit the game in pro. He rage quit Project F. God, this game sucks. It. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> this game fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm done. Th this game is this game's getting uninstalled. Well, uh, that was uh, that was goddamn painful. So, like I promised, let's look at some of the Steam reviews on this game. This review comes to us courtesy of Cancer Diagnoser. <laughs> How fitting! Cancer Diagnoser does not recommend this game, and he says, "Nice game. Really enjoy the loading screen into loading screen into unclickable Japanese language. Spoken like a true gent." Next comment. This is coming from Treehouse Destroyer. Treehouse does not recommend this game and he said programming homework by secondary school student. I 100% agree with you on this. Just the way everything feels and functions is honestly horrible. When you can't even have the transition between a loading screen and hopping in game smooth and coherent, it's time to reevaluate how you operate as a programmer. Well, at least it's free, right? Yeah, but eating a clump of dog shit on a hot sidewalk is also free. It's about the same, to be honest. This game is like eating a hot clump of dog shit. This last review blew my goddamn mind because this has to be either paid for or this dude is a developer of this game. Storm Dutchman recommends this game and he says, I would just like to say the concept is brilliant. I love the concepts in the game and the aiming along with the firing is quite dopamine inducing. You are absolutely kidding me, right? For the next part, keep in mind that this game is still in early access and will be infinitely better in the future. I am so damn sick of seeing that it's still in early access access excuse every time some trash is put into early access oh my god i don't care if the game is still in early access i don't care if it's something this bad it does not get that pass i'm sorry i'm sick of that shit there are still a lot of things needed to be touched upon such as the movement which is extremely clunky i would suggest making the characters faster and incorporate sliding into the movements as it would suit the theme quite well too did you not read the description of this game it says it's a tactical fps shooter the lean from side to side is also a nice feature that you don't see all too often. I like it, but it isn't for some people, I'd imagine. There are, however, two very major issues that I noticed. Everything else is still acceptable, even if it were to be a completed game. The ping and the fact that running it takes so much of your RAM for such light play. I was playing on 300 to 500 ping throughout my first match, and when the match ended, my PC just completely screwed around. I have no clue what that means. Everything was freezing, and I couldn't even open Task Manager nor Alt F for the game, nor would it show up on task manager for a while well as you guys seen at the end of the gameplay they fixed the alt f4 issue i left because it was taking over 10 minutes to exit a match and when task manager finally loaded i saw it was using up a ridiculous amount of ram yeah because it's probably a data miner are you surprised honestly those issues aside it's really a great game with a lot of great concepts and a bright future Give the game time, people. It will get a lot better, which is why I recommend it. The issues I mentioned will undoubtedly be fixed pretty soon considering its release day, LOL. I'm here to tell you right now, I am willing to bet every damn dollar I've ever made in my entire life that this game will never get better. It will probably end up dead in about six months. And this guy is probably a dev for the game, so I mean, what else is there to expect, right? At the end of the day, guys, just go play COD Mobile, play Rainbow Six Mobile when it comes out, play the other free-to-play shooters like CSGO, Valorant, Caliber, or hell, even just wait for X Defiant to come out in a few weeks. Speaking of a few weeks, I'm announcing the winner of my first ever giveaway where one of you will win this ball busting t-shirt. If you join the mosh pit, AKA become a paid member, you get an extra entry. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure you hit that like button, that sub button, and data mine that notification bell for more content like this. And as always, my name is Redbeard Mortis. Speak loud, speak the truth, and I'll see you in the next one.